Is he there? Hey, I got your a side. Don't worry. You <laughs> <laughs> Team killing is either one of the most funny or rage-inducing things in Counter-Strike. It seems like everyone has accidentally, and purposely, killed their teammate in a game before. But if an enemy is on the other side of your meat shield, when is it faster to shoot, and when is it better to step and then shoot? This video will only be going over three main rifles, the AWP, AK-47, and M4A1S, partially because they're the only often used guns with good penetration, and half for my sanity. I did an armor and no armor test for the three guns at short, medium, and long range. Here are the results. You can look at them at your own pace in the description, but I'll be going over each part slowly. Before I start, for this to be of any use to you, you need to have an accurate understanding of your reaction time and how long it will take you to aim on someone. This is by far the most important spreadsheet you will read in your entire life, so pay attention. The first column is the damage of one bullet to the enemy through your teammate at point blank range. The first three are the weapons without armor in one part of the body, and the next three are the same shots with armor. The next two columns determine how long it will take to kill the enemy if you hit all the shots and exclude reaction time. The first column is how many shots at each range it will take to kill. For the time column, I took the rounds per second and used it to find how long it would take to shoot as many shots as there were in the previous row. I did it again with 500 units, about A site to short on Dust 2, and 1000 units, about the distance from A site to long on Dust 2. Now what can we take from this? For you, you really only need to worry about the time column on the sections. You yourself need to find two things if you want this to be of any use. First, you need to find your reaction time. Any site, like Human Benchmark, is good enough to find a rough estimate. I'll use 300 milliseconds for this example. The second thing to find is an approximate time that it takes you to aim on someone. Though it is very situational, I'll use 300 milliseconds again. Now. Compare it to a rough estimate of how long it would take you to react, get out of the way, and then shoot. For this example, I'll say it takes half a second to get out of the way. Add the reaction time, time it takes to get away, and the control time in the spreadsheet, and then compare. Taking these numbers, which are close to the average player, when is it worth it to shoot through? To my dismay, there is no time where it's faster for the average player to shoot through their teammate. An op in the stomach, chest, and head tie because they're only one shot, but that's all there really is for competition. If your reaction time is faster, then at some points it may be faster to shoot through, but even then, since they're so close, it would still be better to move. In conclusion, be ethical and save your buddy. It will help both of you. Did I invest too much time in this? Probably. But at least now, I can't use team killing as an excuse. I'll find an upside to this video, just give me a while.